SCP-336 is called Lilith. The thumbnail looked very, very disturbing, like an evil gal with a snake. I was I don't know. This one's by SCP Exposed. We're gonna react to it today, guys. Make sure to subscribe to SCP Exposed. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos too. Let's get into this one. Special Agent Jackson was sitting at his desk. It was the right? end of a particularly difficult day. He was looking forward uh, to finishing those. his day's work and heading home. Sure. His two-week vacation was starting the following day, and he was keen to pool. get his desk cleared so he could relax and enjoy his trip to the countryside. Yeah. The following morning, vacation, he packed man. up his car and Look, set his off boot. with his wife and two children. Uh -huh. They were going to Family stay in a little trip. cottage in a remote village away from any stresses. As he drove away from the Without city, he could or. feel the weight lifting off his shoulders. <laughs> this was exactly what he needed. Two yeah. weeks to recharge his batteries and two forget weeks? about his job. It didn't Holy take long for cow. them to reach the cottage. It was exactly how he had imagined it. Nice. The garden full of flowers and ivy growing up the walls. They went inside and were pleased to see the interior was just as beautiful Airbnb? as the outside. I'll pop down to the corner shop to pick up some supplies while you and the kids unpack. You didn't get Agent that on Jackson the way? jumped into his car and drove the short distance back to the village. He parked the car and went to the little store. It's like a little After paint shop groceries, or a He was about shop. to get straight back into the car when he suddenly decided he would explore the village for a while. Huh. As he wandered the narrow streets, okay. he felt his heart singing with joy. It felt good not to be thinking about work. He passed yeah. by a little pub and a butcher about shop, work? people smiling at him as he went. He had just Something's walked past a little this, flower <laughs> shop when something made him stop. Something's up with he this. had no idea why, but he suddenly had an urge to go back to the shop. Okay. He never usually bought his wife flowers, but for some reason, he decided to go in. You know, as he entered the I shop, my wife a little flowers bell often. tingled. The smell of roses and poppies hit him as soon as he went in. Mm -hmm. The owner of the shop turned to greet him. She was a tall, slender, pale-skinned woman, no okay. more than 30 years old. But instead of asking him what she could help him with, she began to close up the shop. Where are you going? The same place you're going, I suppose. Later that evening, Sorry, Agent what? Jackson took the woman to a nearby foundation facility. Welcome back to SCP what? Exposed. Today, we bring you the Euclid class what? subject, SCP-336. That's Lilith? But before I go on, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you we won't miss you, out buddy. on any SCP stories. Tell us more about SCP Lilith. SCP-336 appears to be a pale-skinned human female of otherwise Arabic or Middle Eastern descent what? in her what? late is 20s. Ma is that a, she is 1.73 meters is in height and weighs mask? 68 kilograms or is as that of her last physical. Subject requires like, no sleep or sustenance nobody. and does not appear to be affected by aging or sickness of any nature. Okay. The object is anatomically human with the exception of dermal irregularities along the thighs and calves, All right. which appear structurally similar to reptilian scales. So you got some SCP-336 is to be provided with living quarters 6 meters by 6 meters in size, maintained regularly. This maintenance, as well What's as all mouth, other tasks dude? requiring direct contact with SCP-336, are to be carried out exclusively by female personnel. Ah, uh, so she may males. Make requests for furnishings or items. Approval of these requests is contingent on her cooperation with personnel. Sure. And subject to the project's head researcher's approval. Requests for access to anomalous or dangerous items are to be denied. Yeah. Bouquets of poppy so. and white roses are to be provided and replaced as needed. With okay. the current rate of decay, requiring replacement once every three months. A single okay. mirror treated with AGNO3 is to be provided and similarly maintained. What is AGNO3? A voice modulator device fitted over oh, SCP-336's mouth is to be checked and maintained by level zero personnel weekly. Okay. Okay. The modulator may be unlocked with a six digit combination provided to personnel level two and higher for the purpose of testing SCP-336. Gotcha. In the event of the device's failure or unintended deactivation, local lockdown procedures are to be respected until SCP-336 has been isolated. What SCP-336, <laughs> preferring to be known as Lilith, behaves impassively and is detached with regards to human beings and demonstrates highly introverted behavior, Okay. normally preferring privacy to interaction amongst Foundation staff. The subject is highly intelligent and coldly analytical having scored Holy in the 95th percentile analytical. or above in most intelligence tests. <laughs> That's interesting. SCP-336 is capable of influencing sentient thought through verbal suggestion and ah. is able to manipulate a subject's actions in all cases that do not conflict with self-preservation. Okay. This effect is psychic in nature, as it has been seen to affect the deaf no differently. 
In wow. compliance with the Foundation's wishes, SCP-336 has been fitted with a speech modulation unit, which reads and retransmits anything she says through a synthesized female voice, effectively oh. neutralizing her vocal abilities. Uh, she is also gotcha. able to both view and travel through any mirror to any other mirror in existence, wow. with the exception of those treated with any kind of silver compound. Uh, a noticeable see. improvement in attitude is observed when SCP-336 uses a mirror as the subject has been noted to be highly narcissistic <laughs> and has a tendency to spend long periods of time admiring her reflection. Weird, Human subjects dude. directly exposed Very to weird. the unobstructed vocalizations of SCP-336 experience one of two effects, depending okay. on the presence of a Y chromosome in the subject's genome. Uh -huh. Subjects lacking a Y chromosome and possessing otherwise healthy reproductive systems will experience inexplicable infertility. The duration of this infertility varies, but is wow. directly proportional to the length of exposure. Okay. Subjects with a Y chromosome experience a separate anomaly that presents itself after two to three hours of exposure to SCP-336's voice. Okay. During an affected subject's next regular sleep cycle, he will instead enter a coma six to eight hours in duration in place of normal rest. Okay. Over the course of this coma, approximately 100 grams of non-essential tissue, typically from the subject's rib cage, will separate from the subject seamlessly and inexplicably increase in mass, what? transforming into a full-grown instance of SCP-336-1 before the subject awakens. Which is Instances what? Instances of SCP-336-1 are various adult female organisms formed from disparate anatomical elements, selected seemingly at random from two or more Anything. genetically unrelated vertebrae. Oh, okay. 90% of instances incorporate elements heck? from two or more of the following species, Homo sapiens, Bonelli's eagle, sand viper, Mongolian wild horse, and an unidentified subspecies of wild goat. Uh, Current findings suggest that the genetic makeup of the affected subject directly strange, correlates with the composition dude. of the corresponding instance. Research is ongoing. Okay. The majority of these hybrids are this not anatomically weird, viable man. and typically expire within two weeks. Oh. Surviving instances are irrationally so, violent and demonstrate yeah. no evidence of higher intelligence. Gotcha. SCP-336 has demonstrated mild disdain for instances of SCP-336-1 and has been reluctant to discuss both the organisms and the means of their creation. She just don't want to talk As about it. SCP-336 <laughs> has been otherwise cooperative with Foundation personnel. The reason for this behavior Mixed is unknown. I don't like it. <laughs> Recent experimentation has identified it. an irregularity yeah, but I don't like in the object's effects it. on subjects <laughs> whose Y chromosomes exhibit the Cohen Model haplotype. Instances of SCP-336-1 formed from such subjects are exclusively Homo sapiens, with no hybridized anatomy. Additionally, these instances demonstrate intelligence and limited innate knowledge, including fluent speech in the subject's native language. Two of these instances have been retained for long-term study. Okay. SCP-336 was originally found operating a flower shop in a small village. Yeah. When questioned about the shop, local residents reported that it had always been there despite no records on file indicating Weird. its existence. Despite this, examination of the building's foundations indicate that it had far preceded human settlement in the region. Really? When a foundation agent encountered the shop on vacation, SCP-336 approached him and began to close the shop. On right. inquiring where she was going, she answered, the same place you're going, I suppose. She returned with him <laughs> to a nearby Foundation facility before being relocated to Site-17. That's SCP-336 <laughs> has made several comments relating to SCP-073, a oh. heavily tanned male of Arabic or Middle Eastern descent in his early 30s, and to SCP-076, a large black stone with a humanoid inside. SCP-336 huh. exhibits a wealth of prior knowledge relating to the two, although okay. she has been adamant about not sharing this information. All right. When questioned about SCP-071, a metaphoric entity, and SCP-166, a European female human in her teens possessing antlers and hooved feet, she has yeah, been shown to exhibit anger and resentment. Oh, wow. What do you think of that SCP case? This is very, very strange. Like... It's almost like she, it, there's a higher purpose behind it that she just can't discuss, or maybe it's just because she has distaste for it. It's it's a little weird what she's restricted, uh, or what she's restricted herself from talking about. I, I don't know, guys. Maybe y'all got some more to the story, guys. Looking forward to your comments as always. Make sure to subscribe to SCP Exposed. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos too. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ujin signing off. We'll see you next time.